<clears throat> Good afternoon. It is three o'clock on Thursday. It is a beautiful 18 degrees Celsius today. Nice sunny blue sky. It's so nice. Such a nice welcome change from this morning. It was dreary and raining and a little on the chilly side. This is perfection. I just finished my shift, done work for the day, and uh, have not been home yet. I actually drove over to my boss's this morning. She is on holiday, and I met my coworker over there to pick up the van and everything, so she wasn't driving all over the place. <sighs> so we dropped off the van and got into our own cars, and off we tottered. So I had to stop by the dollar store and get some mouthwash, and I wanted some soup for tonight. The boys are going to have chicken. And then I grabbed a coffee and I thought I'd stop down by the park and vlog real quick before I go home. And I was thinking, since it's so nice out, I kind of want to go and sit. There's a bench out here. So, let me I'll leave my windows down because it is gorgeous out. Take my key. Just in case we don't want a chance getting locked out of the car, that would suck. Okay. Oh, it's the end of the day. I move slowly. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's grab a seat at the bench. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, she's a little lopsided. That's all right. Put you on my pop socket. All right. It's a little windy. That's okay. Oh, it feels nice. So, anybody watching, how was your day? This is kind of my Friday because I don't work tomorrow. I have uh, finally a counseling appointment. I guess at like 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous because I have to do an intake with the guy. Uh, this will be my second appointment, my fourth try, my second appointment. Um, the first guy that I went to see, it was stupid. I, I, I don't know why they even bothered because he retired. So basically I'm starting from scratch again. Stupid. But anyway, I'm hoping it goes well. I'm hoping there's a rapport. We shall see. Oh, I got a few phone calls to make when I'm done there. I'm thinking that should be done probably around 11, 1130. And I have to phone. It used to be um, the Ontario College of Trades. They've changed and there's something else now. But I have to go to the bank. I was going to phone, but I think I'm going to go to the bank and talk to them and get that set up so I can renew my hairdressing license because I want to keep that for 68 bucks a year. Yeah. Hold on to that. And uh, what was the other phone call? What was another phone call I had to make? I can't remember now. There is another phone call I have to make. And then I have to do up my paperwork and send it into my OW workers, so uh, uh, a few things to do tomorrow. I'd like to get my house tidy. My house is clean, but I want to clean it again anyway. <laughs> because that's what I do. And then when Monkey gets home from work, to, or, when Monkey gets home from school tomorrow, I have to take him over to his dad's for the weekend.
I have heard through the grapevine that this weekend is supposed to get up to 20 degrees. I am so excited. Oh, yeah. I don't know if my boyfriend's coming down this weekend or not, but if he's not, I think uh, it'll be a weekend for driving around, maybe take a walk along the, the boardwalk down here along the water. Maybe walk down to the other park where the, the bridge to the States is. There's a whole bunch of benches along the water line. Bring a book and read a book and watch the boats come in and out. I love watching those big boats. I don't know why. I find it so peaceful. Yeah, that would be very enjoyable. Anybody watching, what's your plans for the weekend? Is it supposed to be nice where you are this weekend? This might be a bad space to be sitting because the traffic going by, but it's nice out. I don't care. <laughs> Deal with it until I'm done my cigarette. Then if I still feel like talking, I'll chat in the car for a bit. That's a nice bike. All the motorcycles are starting to come out. I love it. I love motorcycles. I rode a dirt bike once. When I was like... 14 or 15, I think. 14, maybe. And I had no idea what I was doing. It damn near killed my fool self. It was fun up until that point. <laughs> <laughs> took out a little sapling and damn near decapitated myself on a barbed wire fence <laughs> it's a good time it's a good time my friend's dad's giving comes out giving me shit your mother's gonna kill me yeah probably i won't tell her if you want <laughs> Good times, good times. I hope the wind doesn't pick up too much. It is a little windy out. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, so no actual plan plans for the weekend. I would kind of like to go out for brunch maybe on Saturday. If my boyfriend's not down, I might do it by myself. Take myself out for brunch. Or maybe even see if there's a decent movie playing. I haven't been to the theater in fucking two years. Bring some snacks from the Dallas store. Cause I'm that bitch. I'll sneak a drink in too. The cost of a movie is enough. I don't need to pay at the concession as well. Jesus. They rob you blind. Yeah, let's go sit back in the car. I have a feeling like it's too windy. And the traffic is really noisy. Oh. All the peoples are starting to come to the park too. I've peopled enough for one day in my opinion. We're good, it's fine. My car is quite comfortable, I must say. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so kind of excited, kind of nervous for counseling tomorrow. I, I, I really want it to go well. In the sense of having a, a, a rapport with this guy. I want to be able to drop an F-bomb and not have him wince, okay? Like, 
I don't, I don't want to be thinking about what I'm going to say. I just want to say it. You know what I mean? I find if I, if I have to overthink my vernacular, I'm not going to say what I want to say. <sighs> that makes me nervous because then there's no point. So I need somebody who's not uptight about language. I don't know. I don't know. Try not to think about it too much. I, I don't want to. I want a decent night's sleep. and I just want to be fresh and positive tomorrow. Like, I think I slept good last night. We had a storm last night, apparently. <laughs> I mean, it was raining when I got up. But my coworker was saying there was, like, thunder and all kinds of shit. And I heard nothing. I think I got to bed around midnight, maybe quarter after 12. And I rolled around a little bit, but... I slept deep. The storm didn't wake me, so... It was rough getting up. <laughs> it, it was rough getting up. It was dark. It was like it was raining. It was you know that wet that kind of weather just sucks the life right out of me. Jesus Christ! But it's cleared up now and it's perfect. So I'll tell you, I'd be in a great friggin' mood uh, if my ear wasn't feeling the way it feels. Like. Everything's echoey today, and oh fuck, I I, I want to. I want to get like a knitting needle and just like stab myself right in the ear and pop that bitch and oh, oh that's who I got to call I got to call my doctor tomorrow and be like dude uh, I need I need the ENT like now like I'm done I'm not playing your game anymore I'm not buying your fucking prescriptions I'm done <sighs> Because what the hearing place keeps telling me is they think there's like a tube back in here that helps everything drain. And there's so much liquid behind my eardrum, she thinks that that tube is blocked. I would imagine an ENT would be able to take a picture, an x-ray, whatever, to see what the hell is going on back there. As opposed to everybody fucking guessing. Because the other thing that the hearing place told me was that because they don't know the cause of the fluid backup, the longer it stays that way, then it becomes likely that even when it does clear, the hearing won't be the same. I'm like... This not being able to hear thing is so friggin' annoying. Having to say what and have people repeat themselves. Like, my biggest pet peeve in life is repeating myself. So to make people repeat themselves all the time annoys the shit out of me. Never mind them. Fuck that. It annoys the shit out of me. I hate it. And the feeling, like, the, the, the pressure is just... Oh... Like I said, I want to stick a kneading needle in there and just fucking pop it. Like, oh, but then I would be deaf. So <laughs> we're trying, we're trying to avoid that. Fuck's sakes. It's just so horrible. Ah. Man, if I had a sweater instead of my jacket, because I have my winter coat here. It's too warm for a winter coat. But if I had like a, a sweater jacket or something, I would totally go for a little walk around the around the boardwalk this afternoon. It is so nice out. <gasps> it makes me so happy. But down on the flip side, I also kind of want to go home and take a power nap. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm complicated. <laughs> it's, it's hard being crazy. <laughs> Indecisive, whatever. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Well, I think I'm going to boot. I want to get home. I want to I want to unpack my bags from the dollar store and Monkey should be home if not now soon. See how his day went and maybe put on the YouTube's and take a power nap. I don't think I pick up Boo Boo until 8 o'clock, so Yeah. Oh, Monkey and I watched a movie last night. We had a little movie night. And, uh, what did we watch? Oh, we watched, uh, Monty Python, Search for the Holy Grail. <laughs> Which I've seen a million times. I, I love Monty Python. Physical humor is not really my cup of tea, but they're not really physical humor. They're just silly. Like, they're nonsensical, and I love it. <laughs> No rhyme or reason. There's no point. There's no plot. Like it. <laughs> it's just, you know, an hour, hour and a half of utter mayhem. It's awesome. And he's heard me and Boo Boo talk about it because Boo Boo likes Monty Python too. I raised him right. And <laughs> he wanted to watch it. And I was like, all right, well, it was probably about your age the first time I saw the Search for the Holy Grail. So yeah, hell yeah. And he loved it. He's chuckling and he's looking at me because the, the humor can be quite dirty. I don't know. Offensive to some. I, I think it's absolutely hysterical. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> like, no, you can laugh. It's funny. Like, <laughs> If I had a problem with it, you wouldn't be watching it. Not with me, anyway. But it is fine. <clears throat> But it ends, like it literally just kind of ends. Like it doesn't sum up the story. It doesn't explain anything. Like it literally just goes to a black screen. <laughs> and he's sitting there waiting for it to continue. And I was like, oh no, bud, it's over. <laughs> that's, that's the end of the movie. And he looked at me, he's like, what? I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't, don't expect, don't expect an explanation. There's, yeah, you get nothing. <laughs> it just ends. <laughs> 9 30 time to go to bed <laughs> I said did you enjoy it he's like yeah and I said, okay well good good night <laughs> he's like but what happened it's like, it doesn't matter they don't tell you <laughs> basically they're all arrested like it's kind of how that ends like <laughs> It was funny. So, yeah, he really enjoyed that. That was nice. I, I like when we do our movie nights. It's a good time. <laughs> but, anyways, I get a boot. Oh, my God. I hope that lady's wearing pants. I don't know why people wear that color. This woman jogging. <laughs> and she's wearing flesh tone pants. Like, tights? I had to take a double look. Like, fuck, you best be wearing pants. I mean, in this town, it would not surprise me for somebody to fucking go jogging with no goddamn pants on. <laughs> fuck. I'm going home. <laughs> so, anybody who happens to be watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Have a lovely evening. Have a lovely afternoon. Take care of yourself. We'll talk later.